I want to talk about why self-improvement really works. Uh, we've all heard the saying, you're the master of your own destiny, or you fought your destiny, and it's true. But taking control of our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, we have the power to shape our own lives. So my story is, I started self-improvement, yeah, like one year ago, and I used to be really, really obese. I lost 25 kilograms, and I played video games all day, and was eating junk food all day, did nothing productive, and never went outside. And when I went outside, I had to have my mask on. I couldn't go outside without showing, my, without wearing my mask. I had to wear a mask. I couldn't show my face in public because I had such low self-confidence and anxiety and overthinking. I started working out, working on myself. I started reading books. I reduced uh, playing video games and watching TV and especially porn. I used to be porn addicted. I would work off like three times a day and watch porn all the time. Which just completely fucked my brain and I just used to be like a fucking loser. And yeah, well now I got a body that I'm quite proud of. Built a bit of muscle. Six pack is coming through. And I'm not watching porn anymore. I haven't watched porn since months. I got a girlfriend. Girls are starting to get away of me. Uh, I get respect from other guys. I have made a lot of new friends. I've experienced so many new experiences and I'm working out every day, journaling every day, reading every day, writing every day and recording videos every day and just spending my time much more productive and I feel much heavier. I do have a lot of anxiety still and overthinking but my life compared to one year ago is infinitely better and I would never want to go back. And I did all that by myself, by self-improvement. And one of the main benefits of self-improvement is that it helps you to become more self-aware. So you understand your strengths and weaknesses and you can make better decision decisions and take more effective actions. I know what I'm good at now. I know what I like, I know what I don't like. And that's really effective. And you can make the best out of everything. And another benefit is that it can help you build self-confidence like I've said earlier. And when you set and achieve goals, you feel a sense of accomplishment and pride. When you set your goal to lose weight or you set a goal to do this and this and you reach it, you feel so much pride and confidence. It's just a great feeling. And this can uh, help you to be more confident in your abilities and make more positive choices in life. And self-improvement also helps to improve your mental health through meditation and stuff like that, and also your emotional well-being, uh, learning coping strategies and stress management stress management techniques. Uh, yeah, I just reduce my anxiety and depression. I'm overall moved by that a lot. Because my mind is quite negative, it really helps to really helps me to write down uh, problems and situations because then I can view them from a different point of view. When it's just my mind is all the time negative in the same view, so I kind of yeah, see it from a different point. And additionally, self-improvement helps to improve your relationships. I have better relationships to my friends, to my family. I got a girlfriend. And I've learned better communication skills. Almost anyone that I talk to likes me. I, I kind of know how to make people like me. I know what to talk about. I know how to uh, keep a conversation running. And you can build much stronger connections with others and become a better listener and communicator. But the journey isn't done yet. I still have a lot to go my whole fucking life. You have to stay humble, always keep on moving, always try to improve your life day by day, make something better, make someone else happy. And yeah, self-improvement is a lifelong process, and it's important to remember that it's not about perfection, it's about the progress you're making. And by taking small steps every day, you can make big changes in your life. So if you feel stuck, unfilled, depressed, you have anxiety, just remember that you have the power to change your life. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider subscribing and liking, and remember to take care of yourself and stay positive.